Hey everybody. Hello everybody. Hey everybody. It's Brock. This is Brock. And we got a new episode with another episode of All About. Of All About. All About. What's up everybody? It's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About today. Hope you all are having a really good Thursday. So today we are learning about Hawaii State Fish, the Huma Rectangle Trigger Fish, or as in Hawaii as they like to call them, please don't laugh, the Huma Huma Nuka Nuka Wapa. Hopefully I got that kind of right. Prices on them, you'll normally spend about $60 to get one. Tank size, at the beginning, they normally come probably 2 to 4 inches, and you can fit them in a 75 gallon, and they do fine in those, but eventually they do get bigger, so you would want to upgrade to, once he gets to his max size, probably about a 180. Care level, super easy trigger to take care of. Temper, online I was looking around, everybody was saying pretty semi-aggressive, but the one we had in this tank was just so aggressive. I don't know what the deal was, but he was just, he just had that personality. Reef safe is definitely with caution. Of course, any trigger they normally aren't going to pick at your corals, but they will eat your cleanup crew. So your snails and your hermit crabs, if you're not feeding them perfectly every single day, every single week, he might see those guys as a snack, so just beware of that before getting him. Temperature, you want to keep it 72, 78. DKH, 12. pH, 8.1 8.4. And your salinity, 1.020 to 1.025. All that is basic. So diet, they are carnivores. So clams on the half shell are normally the main things we feed our triggers. It helps gnaw down their teeth. Because you normally whenever you feed clams on a half shell, you grab them straight out of the freezer and drop them in there so they're still hard and then they go down there and pick at them real good. Another thing to feed them is shrimp. You can get gulf shrimp from the grocery store. Make sure not to get any kind of seasoned or anything like that. Just get plain old raw shrimp and they'll eat those too. Max size. Most places online say a foot, but in a tank you'll probably see them get about 8 inches, which is still a big fish when he gets bigger. Compatibility, just ask. I love seeing y'all in the comments wondering if y'all can have them or not, so just leave a comment down there if you're wondering. This is one of the triggers that I would recommend being alone. For some reason, in tanks with other triggers, he gets aggressive towards them, so if you're going to pick this guy, I would make sure he's the only one. Color, he has a bunch of colors on him. He's got the black and white stripes that are probably the main thing you're going to see at the top of him. It is a little brown. And then he has these really pretty lime green and blue accents with real dominant lines going across his body. He's really, really pretty. Origin, they do come from Fiji and, of course, Hawaii. So make sure he does have a lot of live rock to hide in and go throughout the caves. They can wedge themselves pretty good up in the rocks, even upside down in a cave. So if you do see him doing this, don't think that he's going to be stuck or he's in trouble. Just let him do his thing. I promise you he is fine and he will get out of it. Normally they tend to do this in a new tank. So like I said, just let him do his thing. He'll get used to the tank eventually. They do grunt. That is a crazy thing. You can't hear it in the tank, of course. But a lot of times whenever we catch these guys and they come out of the water, they do grunt very loud. It's funny. Other than that, that's pretty much all I can tell you about the Humu Rectangle Trigger. He's a super basic fish to keep. But for some reason, the one we had was just really aggressive, so I'd watch out for that. Make sure you're putting him in a tank with other tough fish that he's not going to bully. But I will see y'all later. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and check out the other videos in the playlist. We got a ton of them in there for you to learn about stuff, and we're trying to knock some more out. So I will see y'all later.